Hi, Miss. Uh, why did you want to be a teacher? Um, I initially actually didn't want to be a teacher. My initial job, what I wanted was, um, do you know Friends? You know yes. Chandler? Yeah. You know he worked in that office. No one really knew a transponder, wherever he was. Oh, yeah. And then he was um, in that high office, and then he had like the plant part and the high sit. That's actually what I really wanted to be. I didn't know what he did, but that's what I always wanted to be. But um, yeah, that wasn't acceptable because <laughs> no one knew what that was. So, um, and then my mum's a teacher, my dad's a teacher, and my brother's a teacher. So I come from a huge family of teachers. Um, and then I used to go and visit my mum's school quite often, like if I was sick or, or for whatever reason. So I used to go and sit in her office and um, I really loved what she did. I really admired what she did. And um, that's kind of what it kind of grew in me. That is what I wanted to do was could see how she was helping students. I could see the impact that she was having, the banter that she had with them, really nice. And that's when I realized that's what I wanted to be. What's your most rewarding experience at Wisby? My most rewarding experience is having the cafe next to the office. That is the most rewarding thing in the world. That is the best thing that has ever happened in my whole career. I have tea on tap, which is perfect for me. Um, but no, my most rewarding experience, I would say, is there's so many. Um, I think the fact that having to be able to help individual students and seeing them grow um, and just being able to connect with different types of students, they're, they're, you're all different. And I like the fact that when you teach someone, um, like in year 10 or year 11, and you see them grow, you can see where I'm going with this, you yeah. see them grow yeah. <laughs> into sixth form, um, become part of the SSLT team, and that's what's really rewarding. It's really nice to see um, your students who you really care about, you genuinely do really care about the students, and you want to see them do well. And so when you see them to progress, to, to have some amazing achievements, it just makes it all worth it. Uh, Miss, what do you think is like the funniest part, or, like the funniest occurrence that has happened while you were teaching? Um, the funniest moment that I've ever had that I'll never forget. It was funny, I think, to everyone else, but it was traumatic for me. <laughs> was when I was working in an all boys school um, in London, and I basically had we were in a situation where we were teaching, but the windows were open, and a pigeon flew in, and I'm scared of anything that flies. Pigeons, butterflies flies anything that has wings scares me and so it flew right in and i had a group of year sevens and literally went, ah! Ah! I just freaked out in front of everyone and i was very like calm collected the nice teacher and so when i just completely lost it instead of them being scared they all just laughed at me <laughs> and they were actually more focused on what i was doing and it just wouldn't go and it flew in and it just it just wouldn't leave and i was trying to be the kind of teacher that was going, it's okay, everyone, it's okay. And I wasn't okay, I was really scared inside. And then a, a, one of the students tried to get up and try to like shoo it out. And it's like, it's okay, it's like a year seven kid and I was being saved by a year seven child. So that was funny afterwards, we were laughing afterwards, but at the time it was so, it was really traumatic. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's probably the funniest moment. Yeah, Miss, and uh, final question, what would you say is your favorite topic to teach as a teacher? My favorite topic to teach as a teacher is in um, computer science we teach in GCSE we teach um, data storage and we look at how data is stored um, throughout the years and one of the things that was really it, it's funny but it also reminds you of how old you are is the floppy disk and the second when we talk about the floppy disk it's just like what's that I don't know what that is and then when I have to go they're like oh that's really old I'm like yeah we used to use floppy disks now. <laughs> that was it's quite nice to kind of get their reaction of what and it was like this big and you had to like insert it and you could save like one document on it and like seeing the students faces and just seeing them go this is crazy like that's like topics like that they're my favorite when you kind of give them those like kind of nice wow moments yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much Chris. Thank, thank you, you. thank you, thank you. Ms. Trigger, what made you decide to become a teacher? I always wanted to be a teacher since I was really little, so I would be the one who would play schools and have the register and mark off it. So I feel like I didn't really choose it, I feel like it chose me. So it was um, a real passion of mine and something that I'm really proud that I managed to say I did that. Nice, thank you Miss. And uh, what is your proudest moment of being a teacher? My proudest moment is seeing children make their progress every single year. That last day of the term when I see them leave for the summer and I reflect back that what they've achieved with me that year is everything. And I've also kept in touch with many other of my students over the years and years that I've been teaching 
some of them who I taught when they're six years old and now going off to university. So keeping in touch with them, finding out about what they wanted to do when they were so small and how they've achieved that makes me incredibly proud. Thank you so much, Ms. Trigger. So Mr. Harrison, why did you become a teacher? That's a great story. Why did I want to become a teacher? I wanted to become a teacher because I wanted to make a difference in a way that I felt I wasn't in my previous careers in retail, um, banking and working for a law firm and that doesn't mean that they're not great roles they're amazing roles it's just I, I I was looking for something a little bit more fulfilling and I find that in teaching I find it like Maslow's hierarchy as a business student you would know that that's self-actualization so your next question is what was your most memorable moment as a teacher yeah I can and it's it's a series of moments actually there's one student in my first school who's no, nobody in her family had been to university before. Um, she was in my GCSE class. She was performing really well, and she was not gonna go on to further study into year 12 and 13. Um, and I remember sitting down with her, having a conversation, I had a conversation with her mum, um, and she um, actually f messaged me, I want to say, about five years later um, on her graduation day. Um, saying what a difference I'd made and it was just like it was an amazing amazing kind of like series of emotions knowing the the, the impact that, that that you can make as an individual in teaching. So you said that you like to teach because it makes you feel like you have a purpose you fulfill a purpose in the school how do you feel that you do so and how do you feel that you inspire students as a role model? Um, so I, I think being a teacher like fulfilling my purpose as a teacher is to enable others to flourish as a result of you know what what you do and to see students want to go on to do business management and economics or to have enjoyed it and then not want to go on either way I've helped them make decisions about their own future um, and I see my part as being a role model in that is just really really loving what I do and, and I I said exactly this this morning to some year 13s I never get up in the morning and think I don't want to come to work today I think exactly the opposite okay, it's dark and you might not want to get out of bed because your alarm's just gone, but I never have a m morning. And that's been the case for 15 years I've been in teaching. I've, I've never had a day where I thought I don't want to go to work today. I, I get the exact opposite that I do want to go to work. Great. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. You're welcome. No problems. Yeah, it was, um, who was it said it? Socrates said, if you find a job you'll love, you'll never work a day in your life or, or a similar. It's a great, it's a great yeah. phrase. Thank you. Why did you become a teacher, sir? There isn't really one instance that actually made me want to become a teacher. Something that happened probably over a series of years, you know, like decisions that I made that actually led me to becoming a teacher. Um, the first one I can think of is I had an amazing history teacher when I was in year seven um, at school, and I absolutely adored the lesson. And even though I didn't have him in year eight onwards, that love that he actually instilled in me made me want to do the same. And that love of the subject is probably you know, the second thing that I really am interested in my history. And I hope that when I'm teaching, you know, that's instilled, that, that sort of love of the subject is instilled. Uh, but also, I think teaching is one of those jobs where every day is different. Um, you have 15 teachers every year. We have over 300 students every year and actually dealing with 300 students that change year by year it's never dull and I love the fact that every single day is you know, incredibly interesting incredibly diverse you have bad days you have good days but actually they're all fun days and I, I, I just wouldn't want another job in the world so leading on from that um, can you recount one of your most memorable moments as a teacher yeah Absolutely. Now, obviously the first one is every single results day. Every single results day and seeing students getting their results is, you know, it's, it's easily one of the most memorable days. But on top of that, it's actually seeing students outside of the classroom. Or I, I mean, I love teaching, I love being in the classroom, but actually seeing students doing extracurricular activities, taking them on trips, doing something different with them, is actually really, really interesting. I mean, from ski trips, probably the most memorable one for me is 
is when I was back in England, they used to run a war gaming club, which was for a group of students that you wouldn't normally put in the sporting, you know, like, or particularly the academic sort of area, and actually taking them away to a national final where they actually, you know, like, over 200 schools and they actually came in the top five, and actually seeing them go back to school and actually being celebrated in the seventh students that wouldn't normally have ever had an opportunity for that is why you do the job. Thank you. Great time. Thanks very much. Uh, so can you please introduce yourself and what year you teach? Okay, so my name is Mr. Bloomfield and I teach year five in middle school. Okay, so uh, in honor of a, a teacher appreciation day, we'd like to ask you a few questions. So the first one being, uh, what are some of the reasons you became a teacher? Um, so a few. Um, one of the first ones was just remembering my teachers when I was your age or even younger so just appreciating them acknowledging how amazing they were and that's what made me go into teaching. Um, can you recall your favorite moment from being a teacher? Oof, so many. Um, just seeing children smile every day that's the most important thing seeing them progress um, in different lessons and also just seeing them grow as the year goes on. And our final question is what is one of like your favorite things about being a teacher? Um, quite similar to before, just seeing them smile, yeah. having fun with their, with their friends and just seeing progression, yeah. Thank you so much. No problem.